Hey, yo, what is up guys, it's your boy the summon to one back with another banger before we get into the video I just want to thank you guys for that money support y'all showed on this video Y'all really went ham on the like button and the views just keep going up I did not expect my fire and earth method to get out there this much and help this many people Like I said on my recent video when I was going through the comment section of this video I had a big smile on my face, no cap The amount of y'all that benefited from this video is insane And that's one of the main reasons I decided to bring you guys this video today to hook those of you up with another method who are still struggling to get a rare KG. So hopefully those of you who are still struggling to get rare KGs can turn to this method. I was originally planning to release this method on Friday, but you guys went ham on the like button on my recent video and got that video to 1,000 likes. Over 1,000 likes, matter of fact. And I said in that video, if you guys somehow get that video to 1,000 likes, I'll release this video before Friday. With that being said, here we are. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And if you haven't yet, smash that like button. All right, let's try to hit a thousand likes on this video. And if you're new to the channel, smash that subscribe button and turn on notifications for daily bangers on your favorite robots. Hey, Before I hop on the game and show you guys the new method, let's review this video, my recent video, and this video that just keeps blowing up. All right, so let's start off by reviewing my recent video, my most recent. All right, so this is my most recent video. I uploaded it two days ago. Like I said, y'all ham on the like button. We, we managed to get over 1,000 likes, 1,100 likes. Thank you so much, guys, once again. Appreciate the support you guys have been showing this week. Really means a lot. But yeah, before we check the newest comments, let's check the top comments. All right, so my boy as ZN, I had to pin this comment, bro, because <laughs> people out there are still thinking this method is cap. And like I said, if you don't believe in this method, don't try it, bro. If you're not struggling to get rare KGs, don't try it. I made this method in the first place for those of you guys who are struggling to get rare KGs and are willing to, you know, turn to anything, including this method to get rare KGs. And yeah, you guys are turning to this method and by the looks of it, it's helping you guys. So those of you who are hating, yo, leave the video, bro. This method was not made for you if you're already getting rare KGs. If you really want to go out your way and dislike the video, go ahead. I don't mind, bro. How about yeah? With that being said, start reading the comments. I used it and I got 10 Goku. Thanks for the method. Congrats, bro. And this method got 70 likes. Okay. Okay, second top comment from Dumbfounded. Commented, not gonna lie, I had a feeling this was fake, but I still tried it and got 10 Goku. Hey, my boy Black Bear commented, I got 10 Goku and right landing from this method. Thank you so much, sir. Yo, I'm telling y'all, bro, so many positive comments and people that benefited from this method. Just puts a smile on my face. I'm glad this method helped you guys, bro. And that's why I'm bringing you guys with this method, this new method, I mean. Hopefully, this new method helps you as much as this method did or probably more. All right, let's, let's read a few more comments. Bro, is there a spin amount you need to get rare KTs? Well, every 80 spins you get a rare KG, but what this method basically does is it increases your chance of getting rare KGs. So you're most likely gonna get rare KGs before hitting this 80 spin mark. But every time you make it to the 80 spin mark, you should get a rare KG. That's for everybody. All right, let's read a few more comments on this video. Move to the next video. Yes, so you talked to me in DMs and I showed you it works. Hey, yo, bro, the amount of DMs I got on my Discord. I got to show you guys the DMs I got on my Discord. So many of you guys messaged me showing me that you guys got so many rare KGs or rare KGs in general for my method. So, yo, I got to show you guys. All right, but before I do, um, let me go to the newest comments. All right, let's go to the newest comments and see what people think about this method. People that recently uh, found out about this video. I suppose this method does give you a better chance because I'm getting a decent amount of good KGs more often. Yes, sir, bro. To be honest, I thought I wouldn't work, but like, bro, I got Namikaze and Tengoku, and I got a lot of other rare Giga King guys too. Like, bro, this is, bro, I'm telling y'all, bro, give this method a try. What do you got to lose? So many people benefiting. Um, <laughs> another hater right here, a lot of fake clickbait. Hey, everybody's entitled to their own opinion, but my boy Gravity is never gonna know or find out if this method is real or not because he's gonna just hate at the end of the day and not give it a try. And people like that who doesn't, who don't, you know, go out there to give other things a try, would never know if things work or how things are. You feel me? Like, I suck at explaining, but you guys know where I'm coming from. But yeah, that's another hater, so let him be, you feel me? But at the end of the day, as you guys can see, we got more positive comments than hate comments because this method does help you guys. So yeah, give it a try for those of you that are still skeptical or for those of you guys that didn't know about this method, which is fire and earth, all right? So if you're new to this video or it's your first time on my channel 
and your first time hearing about this method fire and earth give it a shot all right but on this video i'm going to be showing you a new method which is not fire and earth with that being said before i hop on discord and show you the amount of dms i got from fans that showed me this method benefited them let me show you guys the video that blew up bro this video is at 2.8k likes bro yeah i went crazy on this video so yeah let's check the comments and see how many people benefited all right so let's go to the newest comments bro you're so awesome thanks man i don't know what kg ended up getting but i can tell he benefited off this method this method is cat bro all right don't try it bro <laughs> uh god i don't know how to pronounce that and fifth spin i'm guessing this is a rare kg congrats bro i spinned it again because yeah good shit bro Yo, this works. My eighth spin, I got it. Luck, congrats. All right, that's it for the YouTube comment section of my videos that blew up of me covering this method. Now let's hop on my Discord and show you the amount of people that went out their way to message me and show me that this method benefited them. So yeah, with that being said, let's hop on Discord real quick. All right, he's not talking about the method. We're gonna have to find DMs of people talking about the method. Um, bro, I have so many DMs, guys. It's insane. Uh, t -t 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 -t. all right. That's one person. Thank you so much. I got Leo Senko. I don't even know if I pronounced that right. In 12 spins using your method, bro. <laughs> hey, I always used this method before it got copyrighted. Never worked. I gave it one more chance and boom. And I replied with good game. Glad it finally helped you, bro. And then he replied with, yo, the method did me good again. I got Shisui's manga cute. I said, okay, game. That's only one person. I had way more people DMing me, all right? All right, another person, yes, sir. He messaged me saying, yo, I got Adelaide Wood. Oh my God. I said, yo, congrats. He said, thanks. But he didn't mention whether he used my method or not, but I'm guessing he used my method because once I start advertising my method and putting it out there, I, you know, I got DMs from people saying um, that they got rare KGs for my method or they just got rare KGs in general. And, you know, whenever somebody messaged me saying they got rare KGs, I'm guessing they use my method. But yeah, my boy Mo messaged me saying, I got rain gun from your method. And I replied with, hey, it feels good when your method helps others. It really does, bro. But yeah, guys, as you guys can see, a lot of people benefited from this method. A lot, bro. So give this method a try. You feel me? If you're struggling to get rare KGs, you got nothing to lose. You feel me? What do you got to lose? But yeah, with that being said, let's finally hop on the game and review the new method. Yes, sir. All right, I'm in game. Let's go to the edit tab real quick. Yes, sir. And select my new method. Let's go to the ability bag. All right, so my new method is uh, kind of similar to the old one, but different at the same time. So um, you only need fire, but the only difference is, you know, you changing earth. So instead of having earth, you'll have wind. And the difference, what I noticed you know the difference between this new method and the old method is that the old method tends to pull kgs such as uh tengoku rinnegan so kgs that basically have a rinnegan at the end of the day most likely gonna get pulled by that kg i mean that method the first method the fire and earth method if that makes any sense and it, for some reason you know there's a higher chance of you pulling tengoku with the fire and earth method than this method for some reason but hey don't get me wrong this method you could still pull anywhere kg with it just like the fire and earth method but like i said the fire and earth method tends to pull kg such as the renegon um for example sasuke's renegon when it comes out i highly suggest you guys go for the fire and earth method when trying to get sasuke's renegon because i feel like there's a higher chance of you getting sasuke's renegon or renegon kg at the end of the day with the fire and earth method than this method but like i said don't get me wrong this method also gives you rare kgs such as renegons and any rare KG, so yeah, give this method a try if the fire and earth method isn't helping you for some reason. And uh, yeah, with that being said, let's switch the earth to wind. Okay. Boom. And that's the new method. Yes, sir. Wind, fire, fire, wind. Or you could use it like this. Wind, wind, fire, fire. I'm going to use it like this though. Wind, fire, fire, wind. If you happen to have only two slots, then select wind, fire, or fire, wind all right and that's how you use it it's that simple it's really that simple guys now go back to the bloodline and start spinning oh yeah before we start spinning redeem the new code if you haven't yet all right guys join my discord if you haven't yet the first link in the description we have a whole category dedicated to shindo life in that category you could find a channel that goes by the name codes and in that channel you could find every working code in shindo life with that being said i'm not gonna redeem any of them because i already redeemed all of them so yeah, let's hop back onto the game and start spinning with my new method so i only have 159 spins which is not a lot but at the same time it's a lot all right so let's start spinning and hope people are rare kg and uh yeah if i'm not satisfied with the amount of rare kgs i pulled 
when I finish the spins, I'm gonna make a new account, an alt, alt account, and redeem all the codes that's working, and use this method, and uh, see what I can pull. So far, I'm pulling, uh, uh, what's it called, common KTs. Hopefully we put a rare KG guys. Cross your fingers, smash that like button if you have it so I can pull a KG like Tengoku, the news KG. <laughs> Who knows? Oh yeah, by the way, I forgot to mention, I got Tengoku on my method. Yes, sir. Like I said, bro, I always get the new KGs eventually, especially, you know, the second or third day when they came out. I usually get them. But the first day, my luck is doo. But yeah, the second day Tengoku was out, I used my Fire and Earth method and I managed to pull it. As many of you guys who use the Fire and Earth method managed to pull Tengoku. Yeah, I noticed on my recent video, a lot of you guys gave my Fire and Earth method a try when, you know, spinning for Tengoku. You guys ended up getting it, so congrats. Uh, yeah, so far we're getting common KGs. And this method's not doing me that good. Oh yeah, I also forgot to mention, this method requires you to spin a lot for you to get rare KG. So, this method, if you spin over 100 spins, it's definitely gonna guarantee give you a really rare KG at a certain point, alright? But the Fire and Earth method, if you guys haven't noticed yet, it usually pulls decent or rare KGs almost... You know, all the time, especially in the beginning of you spinning, if that makes any sense. Oh yeah, your boy just pulled gold sand. Yes, yeah, sir, with this method, not bad. Uh, gold sand is a pretty good KG, don't get me wrong, you feel me? Yeah, it's considered a rare KG, in my opinion. Let me know if you guys consider a rare KG in the comment section. But yeah, for a second, I thought I got another rare KG, but nope. <laughs> the game was just tricking me. Alright, so I keep getting calm KG, yikes. But yeah, you feel me? Method doesn't always work, but most of the time it works. And like I said, at the end of the day, this method, all it does is increase your chance of getting rare KGs. That's what both methods do at the end of the day. You know, I just got a uh, shadow. I think that's shadow. Let's double check. Okay, let's go to the ability bag and uh, check. Shadow, yes sir, one out of 30. It's not that rare, but hey, it's not a common KG. And I ended up pulling shadow, not bad. All right, so far I pulled shadow and uh, gold sand, which is not really a really rare, rare KG, but they're pretty, they're pretty good, you know, they're not that common, which means it's pretty good that I pulled them that fast. And keep in mind, I haven't hit my 80 spin mark. Those of you that say I usually depend on the 80 spin mark, and then whenever I hit the 80 spin mark and get a rare KG, I false claim that my method ended up giving me the rare KG, which is not true at all, bro. <laughs> Y'all niggas are just not watching the whole video, you feel me? As you can see, I didn't even hit my 80 spin mark, and I'm already pulling decent KGs like Gold Sand and Shadow. Those KGs, they're pretty good, especially for players that. I don't have Rinnegan or those kind of KGs that are pretty OP. Gold Sand and Shadow would be a great start for them. And your boys just pulled this KG. I don't know what this is, bro. But yo, that's a really rare KG, boys. But yeah, yo, this method already uh, doing me good. I think that's a Sharon Gun. Your boy just pulled the Sharon Gun. Yes, sir. Which is one out of 100. Yes, sir. And I didn't even hit my 80 spin mark. So for those of you that say I depend on my 80 spin mark, don't cap, yo. <laughs> I'm not depending on it, as you can clearly see. My method is just, you know, it's just hooking me up. It's the method at the end of the day. But yeah, let's get to the spin and see what we continue to get. Hopefully, I end up getting one of the Kage specs because for some reason, I didn't get a single Kage spec. And uh, yeah, let's keep, let's try to get one of them. All right, that's the only KGs I'm missing, the Kage specs. And yeah, I'm going to try to get them on this video. And every time a new KG drops, I'm going to use this method or, or my recent method. I'm um, trying to get the KGs I'm missing and the new KG. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Alright, I'm gonna be making more videos of me using my methods in the future to prove those of you that are still doubting this method wrong, because why not? But yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying this method. I mean, this video. If you haven't yet, please smash that like button. Yeah, let's see what we pulled this time. Common, 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 common. Alright, nothing really rare. Let's continue to spin. Cross your fingers. Hopefully I get a Kage spec. If I got a Kage spec, then hey, that's gonna low-key make my day. Well, yeah, Kage specs are really, really hard to get, bro. They're one out of 400, which is insane, bro. All right, I keep getting crystal, yikes. Mud, yikes, crystal again, yikes. Come on, bro, give me a Kage spec. That's all I'm asking for. I don't want Renegon, I don't want uh, Obito's uh, Manga Q. I don't want none of those KTs, bro. All I want is a Kage spec. Feel me? All right, let's see if I end up getting it. Crowd your fingers, boys. I saw like one of you having there. Give me some of your luck so I can end up pulling a Kage spec. But either way, I know for sure I'm going to end up pulling more rare KGs. But I don't think they're going to end up being Kage specs. But for sure, this method is going to end up helping me pull rare KGs with these 87 spins. Alright, I just hit the 80 spin uh, mark. Let's see what kind of rare KG I get. If I don't end up getting a good KG, I've got better KG basically than the KGs I pulled with this method. Then <laughs> 80 spin mark is low-key doo-doo. Bro, that's what the 80 spin mark gave me. Scorch. 
I mean, Scorch is not that bad. It's actually a good KG. But, yeah, just to show you guys that the 80 spin mark doesn't really give you really, really rare KGs. You feel me? Sometimes it does, who knows? But, yeah, when I pull really rare KGs using my method, it's not the 80 spin mark, bro. It really isn't. If it was, I would, uh, Block that UI that pops up whenever you make it to the 80 spin mark to trick you guys. But I'm not that type of YouTuber. I don't like to trick my fans. I'm, you know, I give you guys what I feel like is true. What, what, I basically tell you guys what I believe in. You feel me? So this method helped me. I use this method. So I shared it with my boys, my fans. You feel me? Uh, if you're not my fan and you don't believe me and you don't want to believe in this method and you think it's fake, hey, it's cool, bro. Click off. The door's open. You can walk out. You feel me? You don't have to subscribe. And if you're subscribed and you think I'm capping, hey. Hey, you could always unsubscribe, you feel me? Um, but if you don't want to unsubscribe and you still think I'm capping, that's cool, bro. And I really appreciate that, that you didn't unsubscribe, even though you think I'm capping, but I'm not capping, bro. I'm actually being serious, but I used uh, my Fire and Earth method to get every KG in the game. And I recently figured out this method. And uh, with this method, I ended up pulling a few rare KGs. And I wanted to, you know, advertise this method because I feel like there's still people out there that's still struggling to get rare KGs. And why not, you know, figure out more methods to help you guys out. All right, and fun fact, I'd be getting these methods from my Beyond videos. Yes, sir. I uh, these methods, I ended up figuring them out from their previous Naruto game, which goes by the name Beyond. So if I never played that game, I would have probably never came up with these methods. So yeah, that's that's a fun fact. I used those methods and made videos on those methods on Beyond. And a uh, fun fact, those methods really help a lot of you guys on Beyond, and it's helping you guys again on the life, which I'm not surprised. You know, it's by the same creators. They use similar scripts. So, you know, when I was planning to advertise this method on Shindo Life, I had a good feeling it was going to work, you know, um, for you guys. Because it worked for me, first of all. And, yo, I just got Rem Goku. Let's go. But, yeah, it works for me, first of all. And, second of all, it helped you guys in Beyond. Why wouldn't it help you guys on Shindo Life, you know? And uh, I was right, you know. It helped you guys in Shindo Life, and I'm happy. But, yeah, your boys just got Rem Goku. And I'm not really happy about that. I want a Kage spec, bruh. Yo, I guess I'm just that type that has bad luck when it comes to pulling Kage specs for some reason. I'm telling y'all, bro, I never really circle to get KGs in general. Except for these Kage specs. These Kage specs are really hard to get, bruh. No cap. I think I'm gonna have to figure out a whole nother method. Now I'm playing. But uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to figure out a whole nother method to get Kage specs. Now I'm playing, I'm playing. Uh, there's no method out there, you know, that specifically helps you get Kage specs. But yeah, if there was, I would have probably used it and made a video on it. Why not? But there isn't, sadly. That's why your boy doesn't have the Kage spins. But yeah, we got 12 more spins. Let's see what we can pull with these 12 spins. But as you guys just saw, you know, my new method helped me pull a few rare KGs. You feel me? And that's just the first time using it on video. You know, the more times I use it, the more rare KGs I'm gonna end up pulling. And you know, hopefully next time I pull a really rare KG. Who knows? I might pull a really rare KG. Give this method a try. You guys might pull a really rare KG. Who knows? Uh, I wouldn't be surprised because, again, this method does increase your chance of getting rare KGs. And, uh, yeah, give this method a try if, you get, if you're struggling to get rare KGs. Especially the Kage Specs because this method somehow helps you get Kage Specs if you spin a lot. So, you have a lot of spins. Like I said, this method is really good for people that have a lot of spins. If you have like 100 spins or 200, it's better to go for the Fire and Earth method. That method always and guarantees get you rare KGs. You feel me? It does get you rare KGs. It might not be really rare KGs, but at the end of the day, it does give you good KGs and not common KGs. Let's say you spin with 35 spins, not a lot of spins, but you'll still get a good KG such as Gold Sand or uh, what's it called? or shadow those kind of kgs but if you have more than 100 spins you're most likely going to spin renegon something like that but if you have more than 200 spins i highly suggest you guys go with this method that i advertise on this video if you have more than 200 spins because you know with 200 more than 200 spins this method does you good bro if you spin a lot this method ends up pulling really rare kts bro like uh tengoku all that good stuff kage specs and maybe that's why i couldn't you know pull a kage spec on this video because i didn't have enough spins i didn't have a lot of spins but yeah hopefully you guys found this video helpful and yeah if you guys want to see more videos like these smash that like button and let me know in the comment section it's been your boy the summer tune peace out